Mike with www.lawmanguitars.com. Boy, have I got a really cool guitar for you today. What we've got today is a beautiful 1976 Fender Custom, a uh, Tele Custom. And I'll tell you what, this guitar is just awesome. Now this was a pro player guitar uh, that I got here in Des Moines and you can tell it was pro play because it's got wear marks in all the right places where you want to see them. There's a little bit of finish checking on the back and just the tiniest bit of buckle rash on the back. But other than that, I mean, it's all original and it's fantastic. What a great sound. I'm uh, playing it on the uh, Fender Wide Range Humbucker. Now these had, uh, the Custom had the Wide Range in the neck position and a standard Tele uh, pickup in the, in the bridge, which is what this one has. And they're all original and they sound marvelous. I'll tell you what. I actually uh, cut the uh, volume back a little bit on the uh, wide range because it is really, really strong and it really kind of overpowers us here. So I backed it off just a little bit. But anyway, it's got the right tuners on it. It's got the, uh, the right uh, micro adjust uh, three uh, bolt uh, neck uh, plate and uh, it's got the fender uh, logoed bridge and it's got the right knobs and there's no cracks in it. There's no cracks in the pick guard. Um, this guitar is just absolutely marvelous. Now there are some dings, of course the guitar has been played. There's one right in here uh, that I can see on the top and one here. But the neck is just beautiful and I have to say these frets, although they've been flattened just a little bit, they could probably use a crowning. Uh, but there's still plenty of life left in these frets and uh, the uh, pro player had it before left some for the next guy so that's kind of nice but what really struck me about this guitar was there's some wear right in here where your uh, arm or your chest actually would be hiding right there and then your arm rests right here and what's really cool about the finishes that they used back in the mid 70s is they still stayed shiny. Uh, you'll notice that if it had been a nitro finish that would have been dull in here but the uh, uh, lacquer that they used, uh, the polyurethane lacquer that they used, it stayed uh, uh, shiny all the way through. So you've got this really neat wear mark, but it's still shiny, which is really cool. Uh, but anyway, the guitar plays great. I didn't even have to set it up when I got it. It was great. <laughs> set up for bending. It's just a little, just a tiny bit higher than I would have it set for me, but I don't bend a whole lot. Uh, apparently uh, the, the previous player bent more, so he brought it up just a tiny bit. There's all kinds of room down here in your uh, saddles to either raise or lower it. I mean, if you want to play some slide on it, it would not be a problem with this guitar at all. The neck is just super straight. <laughs> Wow, I love that. Let's put the uh, neck and the bridge together. You know, that's a very distinctive sound that you only get with that wide range and a tele back pickup. You can't get that with a Strat and it's just, it's a very unique sound. Wow. Okay, let's go all the way to the back. Looking for a telly cut, this one's got it. Wow. This 
This one is known as the Keith Richards guitar for obvious reasons. He played one of these and I gotta say I can see why. This is just a great, great guitar. It's built like a tank and it just sounds absolutely fantastic. Now this guitar is awesome but I always love having uh, the original cases to show you and this one is no exception. Now the first thing I noticed about this case is it's the right case. I mean it's got the Fender logo on the front but you know what? The latches still latch. I mean, it's you never see that. They're always the springs are all gone on them. And I went, well, that's pretty cool. He probably carried it in a gig bag, would be my guess. But uh, anyway, all the latches work on it. It's got the original handle. The uh, handle still has the original leather on it. It's just a little bit worn on the edges, but uh, the case is really in great shape. Um, I, I'm guessing again that he didn't really uh, take this out on gigs with him because it just it's in too nice a shape. Uh, but it's definitely had the uh, guitar in it. It's got the orange interior that you want to see in a 76. The accessory box is here and it's in beautiful shape. And I got to say, the, the, the case is just in marvelous shape. It's, uh, it's, there's no musty smells. There's no indication of any uh, moisture has gotten to it. Uh, it's just as solid as the day is long and uh, it's just a beautiful case. So listen here, if you're looking for a 1970 anything Fender Tele Custom, this would be one to grab. I mean, it's in great shape. It's already got some really cool wear marks on it, so you're not going to show up at the gig looking like a, a rookie with this one. They're going to go, wow, where'd you get that guitar? So, uh, so anyway, if you're looking for a 76 or a 70 something Fender Tele Custom, grab this one. It's looking for a new player to, to spend some time with it. And while you're at it, go to www.lawmanguitars.com and check out all our really cool guitars. As we speak, we're redoing our website. We're going to have it ready for you in probably another 30 days, and it's going to be exciting. We've got some really cool stuff. We're just previewing it this week, and I'm really, really excited about our new website. It's going to be easier than ever to buy right there on our website, but in the meantime, go to Reverb.com where all our inventory is. Now, Reverb.com, uh, you just go there, and in the drop-down menu where it says search, you search for a seller, and then you put Lawman Guitars in it. And guess what? You get 180 of the coolest guitars on Reverb. They love me because I have cool guitars and I treat my customers right and they treat you right as well. I love Reverb.com. They've been doing a great job for us. So check out all of our really cool guitars. Watch for our new website coming out www.lawmanguitars.com and we'll see you for the next one. Thanks a lot. <laughs>